what it is. A new beginning, Laszlo. So, how does this work? It is a miracle, Laszlo. A miracle. A man is a good father, a loving husband, the winner of bread, six and a half days a week. And this spare half day, I say, is life. How? By giving him what he needs. In the moment of life, I give him passion. Look, but don't touch. What with you? You weren't followed. Good. This is it. I'm way over my head and I'm starting to drown here. The CIA seems to have a vested interest in Spank and they don't like us screwing with the cartel. I'm a marked man, so I'm getting out of here. Get me to my flight at the airport and I'll make it worth your while. Hey, dog. About this. In their hearts, Laszlo, they know they have been saved. Uh, okay. We're gonna open it up to the phones if you've got any questions for Fernando Martinez, exotic marriage guidance made easy. Ring us now. Hey, oh, cool. We have a caller on line one. Caller, you are on Chatterbox. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. My name's Jerry, and I'm a first time caller. And I just wanted to say, hey, Laszlo, you're real tough on Fernando back there. I'll tell you one thing he's a miracle worker. He saved my marriage, and I married a bustable woman. Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? I remember Jerry so well. He come in, he is like a broken man. Like a half a man. A man, if you will. He has no end anymore. And his marriage, it is killing him. Where is the passion? He is gone. Replaced by a lady. You see, Laszlo, Mrs. Jerry, she's not a pretty lady. She's more like an offensive lion or a tight end. We can hear her, but first of she gives Jerry five kids, but she's even bigger. Now, she's like a whole offensive lion. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears him so many young. And he comes to me and he cries, Fernando, save my marriage. I love my wife, even though she is a fat worker. And I say, Jerry, you are a man. It is a man's duty to love his wife, even if she is like a farmer. And now, Jerry is saved. By sleeping with other women. Whatever it takes to save a beautiful union. A blessing. A beautiful union by a, an adulterer and Queen Kong. That, that's great. So, uh, who's on the line now? Hi, Lanslo. Janet. I love the show and always wanted to call in. You really offended me today. Who is this gutter trash you got on the show? Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of forced him on me. Hey, you watch yourself, mister. And you, Janet, why are you so ugly? Your husband, he not make you happy? No, he's an idiot and a jerk. But he's probably a good daddy, and you sound very pretty. Angry, and a little bit of a know-it-all, but very pretty lady. This is the thing, last one. The women, they think you... You, Mr. Who cut up my tongue? <laughs> Who are your people anyway? I, uh, which exotic location do you come from? I am. Uh... Want to talk about it? You're real smart. Hold <laughs> from Fernando. From upstate, okay? Do you have any money now? I'm not real Latin, but I provide real Latin passion. I work the miracles every day. Listen, wives, children, if your husband, if your daddy, if he's not happy, send him to me, Fernando. In exchange for a few hours a week, I give you the world. Get off, get lost. You're just a cheap pimp from upstate. Get out of my studio. I save your daddy. I save your husband. It is a miracle. Get out of here. It's a miracle. Would you like a kitten? Have one? 
and we'll send you a cute kitten overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. And now it's time for a public service announcement from station owner Donald Love. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love TV station. Enjoy. Oh. Oh, you think that teaching kids at an... about the fluoride in the drinking water. Listen, if there's any sane person left in Liberty City that can hear my voice, please call the show right now. This is an SOS going out across... Ah. Oh. Miguel seems to think I'm mistreating him. Still, he's revealed the extent to which Catalina fears your quest for revenge. She has three death squads dotted around Liberty, whose sole job is to hunt you down. Act as the bait and get the death squads to follow you to Pike Creek, where some of my men will be waiting for them. Ah! Ah! I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against Them. Crap? Exactly. Your organization's called Crap. Yeah, what what kind of moron are you? You want to round people up for using a phone? But you're, you're calling up on a phone to, to tell the world about it. I mean, how many people are there in this crap? Citizens are raging against phones, Laszlo. How many people? There are three of us. It's hard organizing meetings without the phone, though. We've had to resort to carrier pigeons, and they keep disappearing. What are you speaking to me on? What's, it, what's that in your hand? I am not the problem. You are, and you're perpetuating the downfall of mankind. Liberty City was great before phones ruined everything. Liberty City was a church, a cow pasture, and three houses when the telephone was invented. Liar! You're the liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. What are you, are you, are you three years old? Lazo's a liar, Lazo's a liar. I bet that isn't even your real name. Shut up. You shut up. Stupid. Nanny, nanny, boo boo, stick your head in doo doo. Oh, we're going to commercials. Is your job affecting your health? Do you become fatigued? Does working take time away from family and social events like watching wrestling? There's an easy solution. Sue your boss. See, the great thing about this country is you can sue anyone for pretty much anything, and you'll probably win, or at least get a settlement. At the firm of Rakin and Ponser Personal Injury Attorneys, we can show you how falling down and howling like a sissy can result in a large damage award from your employer. We also specialize in awards for injuries suffered in auto, bus, and train accidents, and can even train you to throw yourself in front of a bus and pretend to be injured. Hey, that's why they pay for insurance. Call the law offices of Rakin and Ponser and get ready to... Well, I just wanted to make your viewers aware the first International Puppetry Festival is next month at the fairgrounds, bro. If you're interested in becoming a puppet master or a ventriloquist, you should definitely come down, dude. It's going to be totally killer. I wasn't aware that there was much demand for puppet shows these days. I mean, oh, man. Have you been living under a rock, bro? Guys with puppets get chicks. I take my monkey puppet to the park all the time. We play hacky sack together. It's rad. But anyway, dude, at the International Puppetry Festival, we'll be having workshops on finger puppets, too. I love Petunia the Pinky, me, Barry the Thumb. String puppets, club puppets. Dude, it's gonna rock. <laughs> okay, thanks. 
Hope to see you there, Laszlo. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? Nah, I'm sorry. Fernando hasn't paid his bill to our ad sales department. But here's someone who has, and they paid us in stacks of old groats and gold guineas. We'll be back after this. Do you live in the boring suburbs but dream of living in a lonely castle? Noble stallion, do you eat microwave dinners, all the while wishing you were roasting a suckling pig at a pagan banquet? Is your next ideal home improvement a moat? Well, get ready, Liberty City! This weekend and every weekend at Liberty City Park, it's the Medieval Millennium Fair. Our band of traveling minstrels, knights, and maidens oh so fair are ready to delight you with tales of the Black Death, witch burnings, and the joys of being a f- <laughs> and one-size-fits-all chainmail. And this weekend only, pick up an authentic mechanical Lady of the Lake in Excalibur. It's perfect for your garden pond or a swimming pool. And learn how to rid your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mysterious prancing German named Hans. The Medieval Millennium Fair, every weekend at Liberty City Park. All right, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox, the show that is the number one reason for the success of the internet. All right, let's take a call. Who's on the line? Close. Well, what about them? Close. What are you talking about? Laszlo, close. Close, Laszlo. I hate them. I just hate them. Wait, we're, all, we're all about opinions on Chatterbox, which is uh, Liberty City's premier phone station. But why don't you like clone? I just hate them. They're so constricting. I mean, there's a line where clothes, and the line is the king of the jungle. So why can't I help a citizen go and make it? Well, I mean, I guess the line has two distinct advantages over you. One, I mean, it's as you say, a king, and therefore it can exercise its royal prerogative to not wear clothes. And two, it's a cat, and therefore it doesn't have to. And three, I mean, now that I think about it, if you want to try to dress a lion, you can, but I guess, I guess what we're learning is that life can be a little un... <laughs> to cut you off. Don't you believe in free speech? Free expression? No, of course you don't. All you believe in is free drinks. I'm naked and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. I'm naked and I feel so good. What about winter? What do you mean? You know, I mean, what about winter? When the wind blows and it's really cold, I mean, do you prance about like a ninny waiting for your privates to go blue? I was born naked and I'm gonna die naked. <laughs> and all shriveled up by the sound of things. Winter was invented by clothing companies. Clothes are unnecessary. They're ugly. Have you ever cooked in the dude? No, uh, look, is this leading anywhere? Because, I mean, we've got a lot of other people waiting to talk about real things here. Nudity is real. Open your eyes. Take off your pants. Come on. Come on, Lazarus. You can get a your head for the hatred. You get one that first time for the first time Nudity is back. A lot of people are into nudity and really understand the spiritual side. What? I'm hanging out with loads of naked chicks. I mean, I see the fun in it, but I just think clothes have distinct advantages, like like not accidentally cooking yourself, or, or when you're working on a building. We're not swingers. It's not about sex. It's about being one with the world. All right, dude. Groovy. Hug a rainbow. It's time for a public service announcement from Donald Love. Hello, I'm Donald Love. Under my guidance, Love Media has emerged as the fastest-growing U.S.-run media conglomerate of the past five years. With newspapers, television, and radio stations across the U.S. and the free world, alongside a wider... Uh. Uh. Miguel certainly has some of that famous Latin stamina. I'm quite exhausted. We underestimated Catalina's plans for spank. It reaches far beyond the yardies selling it on the street corners. The cartel have a front company, the Kappa Coffee House. They've been selling spank through the street stalls. We have no choice but to put these drug stands out of operation. Smash them ah. to splinters. Ah. 
Anyway, enough of that stuff. Let's have a little more dog. Now, what you say is you say, please, Aris, more dog, please. No fighting between man and man. Let your love grow strong. Made it 30 times. He learned. Now he brings his mother lunch in bed every day so she can sleep in. Let me tell you, everyone should have their kids serving up food. He even cooks for the whole family. These days he's getting too big to be chimney. Here, on you know, weekends, he doesn't go to the mall, play soccer, feed, or do any of that kind of stuff. No, no, he works in the basement of a marketing company making photos. What do you say to that? Well, it sounds kind of like exploitation to me. Exploitation? You know what mine. He's my kid. How can I exploit something I own? Exploitation. You sound like a communist. Kids in Russia, they don't work. That's why everything's so messed up over there. Watch you get the weight on the toilet paper. And their space station was made out of milk cream. For you. That sounds a little oppressive and even despotic. Exactly, my boy. You hit the nail on the head that time. My kids, I'm telling you, to shut the schools down, make kids work. That puts stuff off the sisters anyway. And, and doctors, and politicians, lawyers, whatever. I, you know, I can't be bothered to argue with you, but I do feel sorry for your little Johnny, the seven year old cook, chimney sweep paralegal photocopier because his daddy's an idiot. Let's take a quick break. Phil and I just had another kid, so of course we need a bigger SUV. Being a mom is hard, with soccer, football, and lacrosse practice. So we bought the new Maibatsu Monstrosity. It's so big, we lost little Joey in the back and couldn't find him for an hour. When I'm rushing to the mall or talking on my cell phone, I know me and my family are safe. The Maibatsu Monstrosity has four-wheel drive, and in amphibious mode, it can cross rift... Parking lot, I can focus on the important things. What are you doing? Get the bird? So what if it gets three miles to the gallon? I'm a mom, not a conservationist. The new my Batsu monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Would you like a giraffe? Have one delivered. Just log on to petsovernight.com and we'll send you a giraffe overnight. Petsovernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. Go over here and talk to somebody about their life. Hello, caller, you're on the air. Hi, Leslie. My name's Martha. I just love your show. I always listen to when I'm getting my call interrogated, I just wanted to say something about you. And, you know, information that you can find in the World Wide Web. Yeah, I know all about it. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I need to be incredible. I know a lot of people say it's absolutely a load of crap. It's remarkable, I think. Think of all the things you can do. I mean, who do you want to buy in these days? What do you do, Leslie? I go to a shop, and the name's Laszlo. I'm so Leslie. I'm a regular listener. Well, I don't. I like online, and then I just using like, a different format, so I can do it while I'm dying. It's incredible. I also like jazz and cooking, and reality. Yeah, the internet is really good for my heart. I think it's amazing. I can do that a lot, but I don't need to go out ever again. It's incredible. I don't envy this because they're stuck up and their fans are. They earn them. The my this is really going nowhere. Do you have anything interesting to say at all? Well, um, well, I want to see the Declaration of Independence. That's phenomenal. Probably one of the reasons there are so many single men in this city. All right, let's go over to here to line 79. Hello, you're on Chatterbox. Hello, uh, is that Laszlo? Uh, yes. <gasps> oh, wow, I'm on the radio. I'm saving you. Thank you, Laszlo. Uh, is this on the radio? I mean, am I actually on the radio for two seconds? Uh, uh, 
yes you are. Uh, I'm sure it's very exciting for you, but uh, what do you want to talk about? Oh, Ben, I mean, what, what, what else is there? I could go on all day, but you know how it is, don't you, Laszlo? Uh, not really. Uh, what's your name? What did you call about? Oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm Maria, you know, Maria, like Mamma Mia. You want the chainsaw, gringo? What are you talking about? I, I, I'm married. Uh, one of those convenience jobs to protect you, I bet. I know what you're all like. You know more about men than I know about leopard skin furniture. So let's do that clever stuff and give me some advice. I mean, come on, I got real problems. You see, okay, I had this boyfriend. And at first, he was real kind to me. He was a real gentleman. A little bit older and everything, but yeah, he treated me really good. And then it all went wrong. And so, you know, I found someone else. And, real nice, but you know, he don't talk too much, so I really can't tell who likes me. Well, I guess what I want to know is, you know, how do you tell if a guy is serious? I mean, you know, he treats me good. What's your name? Jeff the Proxy. Hello, Jeff. What's up? I wanted to tell you and your listeners about a once-in-a-lifetime chance to make a difference. There's a rally far you to get the car. Starting at 7. All the overtaining banners, speed calls, all night, all day to prepare for it. Then, when tens of thousands gathered in the park, we're going to march on the town hall. Last all the people who spoke, they have said no, not in my town. So, folks, if you're listening and want to make a difference, get yourself down to the park and prepare to bring democracy back to the people. So, what's his rally about, Jeff? It's about people standing up and being counted. It's about the future. It's about telling those morons. No thanks. Not in my town. Not while I have a flesh in my body and hope in my soul. I will not, I cannot let this pass. Now, listen, Jeff. Uh, 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 listen, it's about giving something back. Giving what back, Jeff? Hope, dreams, belief. Belief in what? I mean, look, Jeff, I, I admire your passion. Really, I do. But what will people be marching for? What, what's your rally about? It's about something. Do we tighten it some more now, or just wait for it to turn black and fall off? Give it a quick prod. Oh, what is that gooey yellow stuff? Oh, hey, Pave! My handyman. I, I was bored, so I came over to keep a suka company. She's got the makings of a natural, this girl. She's managed to extract this little gem from our guest. There's a plane coming into Francis International in two hours' time. It is full of Catalina's poison. You can avoid airport security by getting a boat out to the runway light buoys and shooting the plane down on its approach. Collect the cargo from the debris and stash it. Oh, you be careful now, okay, baby? Now try the chili oil. Gary Shaver was cleared of corruption charges in a controversial decision. Uh, the big 4-0, and it, it's just time to go. Okay, did you have anything relevant to say? Yeah, dude, that B dude was bogus. Really bogus. That's all. Great show, Laszlo. I, I appreciate that. Well, that's why I went to broadcasting school. All right, well, when we come back on these messages that help supplement my meager salary, we're going to talk to Reed Tucker. It's going to be a great interview. We'll be right back. 
A good shoe starts from the ground up. At Aris, we make high quality footwear. In fact, you can find Aris running shoes in over 140 countries around the world. In the past, there's been some criticism about our workers. That's why I'm here at one of the Aris factories so you can meet some of them. Excuse me, sir. Do you enjoy your job here? It's fun. We get to play with knives. <laughs> I see. Is there a real sense of teamwork? My friend Joey sewed his hands together. Wow. You're learning some real skills. How about the salary and kind of dedication we have to our employees and the quality of our shoe.
says on the inside cover of your book that you still live in your parents' basement. Okay, it, it's not a basement. I prefer a center for spiritual enlightenment. In chapter 17 of my book, which I know you've read, I address the dangers of cynicism. That low, closed mind is like a closed fist. Karate means open hand, but it might as well mean open mind. Feel a deep breath. Thank you. Well, I'm not a masticating cow, so I really don't enjoy chewing damn hay and prancing around his legs and shouting. Take him out! Okay, next caller, you are on Chatterbox with Reed Tucker. Yo, Reed, Kung Fu movies are dope. How can I learn to beat up 10 guys at once? Okay, first things first. is made of two-inch thick composite wood pulp and has a mahogany 